Right, so this is uh, fitting the Kaiser Smart Thermostatic Radiator Valve. Um, so first thing to do is to get rid of the old one. So you come in on the video, you'll see there's a little collar under here that you have to unscrew. And if yours is of this type, then it's very easy because that just pops off like that. Right, so we can uh, just get this out of here. Okay. Right, so it's got a quick start guide in here. The valve. And also some batteries and a little tool to fit it with. And if you have a different type of radiator, it's got a few uh, adapters in there, but this one is going to be fine. Right, so the quick start guide, um, we've already removed the old valve. The new valve uh, is pretty easy to install. It's just reversing what we've just done. And it recommends then putting the battery in once it's in position. Um, and then we're gonna set up the app. So first thing to do is get this just in the right place over there. And then we're just going to get this collar and screw it back onto the radiator. So that, that's just hand tight, it's fine. And then this little tool came uh, in the box. So this you have to put on the side and it just clicks the top off. So you can use the end peel off. And then in here, and again, just to kind of need it, that, that's where the batteries go. Um, so uh, negative here and positive. So that just flicks over and then flicks shut and you'll see uh, that the lights start to come on in the front now. Right, so we're just going to reinstall the top. Right, so that's basically it. So, so that's the uh, valve installed now. So we're next we're going to set up uh, the app. Right, so we're now going to connect this, and you could have used it manually, but we're going to connect it to the app. So there's a QR code here to download uh, the app from the App Store, the Kaiser Smart app. And uh, if you download that and create an account, um, then you should be up to here. So once you've done that, um, you then need to just use the end and hold it down for five seconds. And you'll see that the front of it starts to show the Wi-Fi symbol now. Um, so I've already installed a um, connector downstairs, um, which is going to connect to this. So in the app, I don't know if you can see that. Um, so I've now already logged in. So there's a plus at the top, and I add a new device. Um, and if I scroll through, we've got th smart thermostats. Um, there's only one type of smart thermostat. So I've chosen the hub that I've already uh, plugged in. And it says we've installed it. We've already attached it. We've already put the batteries in and we've already set the LED blinking. So now it should just pair. So let's just give it a moment to do that. There we go, you can now see it's connected. So I'm going to put this, call this the bedroom smart thermostat. You can see it's already connected to Alexa. Uh, that's because that I've connected the Kaiser app to Alexa. Um, create a new room to put it in. Choose an icon for it. Checking the firmware. It says that the firmware needs to be updated. So that will take a, a minute or so to do. Right, so the firmware's updated now, which is great. So it sounds good, as it says here. Um, so um, I should now have a new thermostat in the app, um, which is listed all of my thermostats down here. So we've got bedroom smart thermostat. So you can see on here that I can look at the temperature. So it's currently 23.2 uh, degrees, and it's heating up to 22 degrees. Um, if it had been running for longer, I could look at a report of how the temperature changed over time. Um, I could also use the smart control 
to set up times of the day when this app, uh, sorry, when the uh, thermostat comes on. So you know, turn it low at night and high during the day. Um, and you can change that depending on the day of the week. Um, in the settings here, you can also put a night mode. And basically night mode means that if it's in a bedroom like this, it'll move the valve a little bit more quietly between sunset and sunrise. Um, and if you're mounting the thermostat horizontally rather than vertically, you can change the display settings. So actually mine's set vertically, so I'm just gonna swap that over and the device has changed in the background. Now, because I've newly installed it, I'm just gonna double check the calibration on it. And this basically moves the valve from fully open to fully closed and the app knows exactly what fully open and fully closed is therefore on this particular radiator um, and other than that we're all good to go so um, just in terms of the actual valve itself then so I'm just going to reinstall the top I can get this to click in there we go and now you can see that I can easily manually change the target temperature for this at any time. Or I can do it through the app. And that's as simple as it is. Hope that was helpful.